Okay, so hello everyone, my name is Solar and today I'll be trying to figure out whether Dream faked a speedrun or not. So Dream, a YouTuber with 14.3 million subscribers, so that's a lot, is being accused of faking his speedruns, which is one of the topics he's like uh, popular about. So you can see that uh, by this like news tweet, it says Dream's Minecraft runs deemed illegitimate following investigation by the speedrunning team. So Dream's runs have been like denied by the speedrunning community and you can see that he's no longer on the leaderboard. So Dream has said that this is completely false and that his speed run was actually real. So I'll be getting into the probabilities of whether Dream faked the speed run. It might be a bit boring, but try to stay in with me. Okay, so let's get started. In 1.16, there's a thing called piglin bartering, and you basically give gold to piglins, a mob in the nether, and they have a chance to give you a random item to you back. The thing that you want from the piglins are ender pearls. Dream was able to get 42 ender pearl trades from 262 gold, and it's not 42 ender pearls, it's 42 ender pearl trades. So 42 times ender pearls came back to him. This is a lot higher than the expected amount of ender pearls to come back from 262 gold, which is only 12. 42 is a lot bigger than 12. This is a graph to show how lucky Dream was during his speedruns. The blue line is Dream, the green line is 1 out of 1000 probability, the red line is Illumina, which is another speedrunner, and the yellow is expected, like the average. So you can see that Dream is way above the average and even way higher than the 0.1%. Although the blaze wall drops, which you can see in the scrap here, is also a piece of evidence against him, I'm not going to include this because the ender pearl drops is the highest piece of evidence against him. Okay, so let's get started with the math. Okay, so a thing called binomial distribution is what is I'm going to be using to calculate Dream's probability. I know it sounds complicated, but it's not too complicated. I'm going to be trying to figure out the chance of getting three sunny days out of seven days, where the chance of getting a sunny day is one third. So most of you will probably know that the method to calculate getting three sunny days in a row and then four non-sunny days in a row is one third times one third times one third times two thirds times two thirds times two thirds times two thirds because that's just how, you know, probability works. You multiply all the individual unrelated probabilities. However, you can order the sunny days however you want. So you can have sunny day, then non-sunny day, and then whatever you want, as long as you have three sunny days out of the seven. So you can order them however you want, and the way to order them is com seven three or seven choose three. It's a formula to do it, so math out factorial total, divide by math out factorial pick, times math, math out factorial total minus pick. So it's gonna be complicated proving that, but just like go with me. So that's how you like calculate how to order something. So that's how you get binomial distribution. Oh. So that's the idea I'm going to be using in this video. So you can see that the probability of getting three sunny days in a row and then four non-sunny days in a row is this, but the probability of getting three sunny days out of seven is just this. So it's slightly higher than one fourth. Also, if you want to figure out the chance of getting three or more sunny days, then you just do the same thing. So add three sunny days plus four sunny days plus five sunny days plus six sunny days plus seven, and you get the chance that you get three or higher. So that's how you calculate cumulative, which I'll use in this video. So the part I highlighted in blue is how you calculate the probability that you get what Dream got or Luckier. So I'm going to print it out and you can see that for getting exactly what Dream got, it's this or this or once in 239 billion. And for getting what Dream got or Luckier, it's once in 179 billion. So you can tell that it's like almost nearly impossible, but one of the many arguments that the Dream fans are using to disprove this is that Dream has done hundreds, maybe even a thousand attempts at, you know, like pickle and bartering. So out of the 1,000 attempts, so this math isn't including the 1,000 attempts that Dream has got tried. So I'm going to be including that in the video. So I can like see if if Dream did this 1,000 times, is there even a chance that this will happen? So yeah, let's calculate that. 
So suppose the chance of winning a lottery is 1 out of 1,000 and you want to calculate the chance that you win at least one of the lotteries if you go in the lottery 1,000 times. So the chance of you not winning the lottery is 999 out of 1,000. And then you do that lottery 1,000 times. So the chance of you winning zero of the lotteries out of 1,000 attempts is 999 over 1,000 to the 1,000 power because you're doing it 1,000 times. And you get 0 0.367. But this is the chance that you win none of the lotteries. So you have to subtract one from it. And then in the end, you get that the chance of it winning at least one of the lotteries is about 63%. So that's the exact same thing I'm doing here. So the chance of Dream getting this lucky or more lucky in at least one of his 1,000 attempts is... Once in 179 million. <laughs> I'm not saying that Dream faked the speedrun. I'm just saying that the chance of this would have happened is once in 179 million. Wow. And this is assuming he bartered 1,000 sets of 262 Piglin barters, which is on the high side and is not including his weird blaze mod drops either. Okay, so thank you for watching, and if you found at least one thing new in this video, please like, and if you want more content like this, subscribe, and bye!